Today we are going to show you how to install Lubuntu 21.10 on Samsung Chromebook 3. If you haven't already watched our first episode, go back and watch that one first. We'll show you how we got this awesome booting rabbit here to come up. Now we can boot Linux or whatever system will work with these system resources. So go check that video out first. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Brown with the Epic Awesome Amazing episode of the Unboxing Authority Libre Bit Shoot YouTube channel, and I'm on Odyssey. I'm going to let you know this is Samsung Chromebook 3, the one from the other videos. The model number will be in the description. This thing has two gigabytes of RAM as far as I know, if I remember right, and it has a dual core Intel CPU. So this is Lubuntu 21.10. It's a non-long-term support version. And in the past, the only version that worked on here right was Lubuntu 19.10. So hopefully somebody at the Lubuntu community is gonna see this and they're gonna fix it so that the stable versions work right with the sound on this as well. So when I tried to use the current stable release, which is 18 point something, well, I tried to install it on here. And when I got to the keyboard selection and text mode, Everything was fine until I let it decide to find up to detect the keyboard by entering keys. When I did that, the inner key stopped working and I couldn't continue, so I had to restart. And when I got it to test it, it, would, it couldn't detect the network. It could not detect network devices. In this Chromebook, the state, current stable version of Ubuntu could not do that. I tried the other version of like 20.04 or something, whatever the 20 point, whatever the other version is that's out, and it did not detect the sound. In a last ditch effort, before contacting the Lubuntu community and saying, how do I fix this? I installed Lubuntu, or I have Lubuntu 19.10 running in live mode, and now I have audio. We see there's a speaker. There's analog support. Okay, so there's a digital stereo HDMI output unplugged unavailable. Now I can check that, and it'll become available even if it's unplugged, but that's not what we're wanting to use on a regular basis. We want to use the built-in speakers. We want to use the audio jack. And all of that is unsupported in anything that I've tried except Lubuntu 19.10 and Lubuntu 21.10. You gotta have a micro SD installed in here as a hard drive because otherwise there's only 16 gigabytes internally, so it doesn't work well. You wanna hit tab when it allows you to start. It's powered by Lubuntu. It says enter, so we're gonna hit enter to restart, and then we're gonna hit tab when we see the rabbit. So we're going to wait until we see the bunny rabbit, the core booting bunny rabbit, and we hit tab. Not escape like it says. You can try escape. It might work for you. Um, but for me, when I did escape, I had other issues. So I'm going to go to my boot menu. I'm going to hit enter. I'm using the up and down arrow keys and the enter button there. And so now I'm going to go down and I'm going to select my USB disk 2.0. And we'll be installing, hopefully, to the micro SD card like we did before and everything will be wonderful. So we're gonna go ahead and sit tilt to do it. And it didn't do it because it's mad. Okay, so it's being weird. So I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna hit reset boot order. And I'm gonna hit yes, continue. And now I'm gonna go down to boot manager and see what it has for my boot order. Right now it has SD device, USB a second. So I think I can just do escape to go back. Hopefully this will work right. No, it's not working right. So what I'm going to do is, this happens, this gets weird, I don't know why. I'm going to go ahead and unplug my jump drive. I am going to power off the computer. I'm going to unplug it, turn it on. That may not all matter, but I'm, I'm doing it anyway because it works. Okay, plug it back in. It's going to do something, it's analyzing its defaults. And we're just going to let it start in Ubuntu 19.10 It's important to show what to do if things go wrong because this this that Chromebook can be temperamental sometimes so so now I'm going to go ahead and shut it down Okay, so we're shutting it down now Perfect Plug it I'll go ahead and put the jump drive back in I can always install the jump drive in another place too. If I think there's an issue going on with booting, I can put it in a different USB port, try to confuse the computer, and sometimes that might fix something. Can go ahead and do that now, just for fun. Sometimes confusing the computer can unconfuse it, so we'll do that. 
turn it on now. And sometimes the power button doesn't like to respond on these. Now we're going to go down and hit boot menu. And we'll hit the USB disk 2.0. And what do you know? See, so by confusing the computer, we got it to work. I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, just the bunt 2 without the safe graphics. Because we're going to live on the wild side. It's not doing safe graphics mode. And here it goes. It's running fast like a rabbit. Look at that. And pretty soon we're going to see the Lubuntu logo, I think, right here below the rabbit. See, it's a core booted Lubuntu Chromebook, Samsung Chromebook 3. Isn't that wild? And it's all spinning the same direction. See, the bunny's going that way. It's spinning this way. That tells you it's got to be fast, right? Now, if you want to see all of the hardware information about the audio devices in this, please go to my Lubuntu 19.10 video. I went through the terminal and entered a whole bunch of different probes so you can see everything about the hardware and uh, just let you know that in advance. Here we go. So we have a Samsung. It's showing the Lubuntu 21.10 drive installed and I could connect to the internet first if I wanted to before installing it. In fact, we have our Wi-Fi connected, so now what I'm going to do is install Lubuntu 21.10 from the graphical user interface. I don't know if it had to load that page or what we were waiting for, but um, we're going to go ahead and hit next. We're in American English, so that's, that's fine. And it wants to know our time zone. We'll go ahead and leave it where it is. And the keyboard is fine. Okay, so when you format this, you want to do everything on the micro SD card. You want the internal memory to be completely blank. Okay, that's the best way I've found. We are going to create a partition up here. This is what the partition is going to look like. It's going to be 301 megabytes. FAT32 boot EFI, and we definitely want the boot flag there. Create. Go up here, 512. And then we go down here, hit FAT32, boot EFI, file system label. So you're going to hit uh, boot down here. If you see an ESP option here, you can check that too. I don't see that there. That hit OK. For our XFAT, we'll go ahead and tell it that we want this to be the primary partition there. And we will format that. If you put an EFI, a FAT32 EFI here, you can try to boot from the internal. When I had this working in the past, I was booting just from the micro SD card inside. And there's the micro SD again. Okay. All right, so it's installing. Okay, it says it was all done. So we're gonna go ahead and restart and see if I did this right. Let me remove our installation media, press enter. And Let's see if we can decide how it's going to boot today. So, so far so good. Alright, it looks like we are set. So, and it's already connected to the internet. It remembers our internet connection. And of course, we need to go to the Unboxing Authority YouTube channel and subscribe in order to test this, so. This is your brain. This is drugs, alcohol, tobacco, and other evil substances. This is your brain on alcohol, drugs, and tobacco. Don't fry your brain. Don't do drugs, alcohol, and tobacco. Turn to Jesus Christ instead. Or read every word that proceeds them out of God. Go to ChristianCourts.com. God bless you. All right, so the sound works. So the next thing to do is install programs and do whatever we want to do with it. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and uh, we'll just show you really quick what's installed um, on this computer really quick. So uh, right now we've got some accessories here. We've got some game, a game, we've got graphics, we've got uh, Firefox and transmission and some IRC client and the Bluetooth and uh, we've got LibreOffice already installed, which is great. We've got sound and video already installed. That's great system tools. And 
uh, preferences, got all kinds of fun stuff here. So what's missing, I guess, is the Synaptic Package Manager and a scanner program and just some things like that. So we're gonna go ahead and find us a terminal here. And so we'll go here and we're gonna type in. So we may need to do is um, apt get update. And we're gonna type in sudo space apt dash get space install synaptic and it says yes it's there now that we did our pseudo app get update we can install packages so that is wonderful we're going to go ahead and just type in sudo synaptic. And we will see if we are able to install the programs that he wants installed. Synaptic was one of them. List of programs to install. LibreOffice is already installed. Uh, color paint, GIMP, a screen grab, a scanner program. Got to do the simple scanner program if it's here. So I'll type in scanner. It should be a program called Simple Scanner. There's Simple Scan right there. We'll look for color paint. There's color paint. Wake up! The revolution has begun! Hello everyone! We interrupt your broadcast to bring you Subscriber Bunny, reminding you to subscribe 
to YouTube and give to our Patreon and all of that wonderful, great stuff. Now back to your regularly scheduled video. Do you want to learn to follow the commands of the Almighty One True God? If you do, go to ChristianCourts.com. There's a free PDF book you can download, audiobook, and video where you can listen and learn God's laws. Make America great again. Help establish Christian law in communities all across the world. God bless you. Don't throw your computer into the recycle bin. Make your computer great again. Go to www.justuselinux.com.